Zan. This is a 1v1 on the Pyramids map, and I command the Austrian forces, and General Zap commands the Prussian forces. I have four Grenzi units on my right flank, two Jager units on my left flank, with quite a lot of elite units on my left flank. I also have three units of Hungarian Fusiliers moving to the hill, with a unit to back up each flank in case I need it. I also have four units of cavalry and a general. And my opponents basically got two units of cavalry rushing to the hill, and two units of the Sliskin Skutsin people, however you want to pronounce them. And they're trying to take the side of the hill, but don't really do a very good job of it. Now unfortunately he's got a experimental howitzer, which is obviously extremely deadly against large infantry units. Now he's basically going with the column formation for some odd reason with his units, and he's walking with them. So he's not really trying to rush the hill, which is probably a main priority on this map. So now I suddenly charge my Ulans straight in the lance into the Lancer unit. And then he charges his Hussels in. But I don't think one he didn't see what I was doing. I now move my Rassier unit and Fus first Hussar unit onto his flank, which is definitely unprotected. Now these uh, Ulans are now holding it out. And my two units of Jaegers are now... I was going to move them up, but then I saw the enemy were bearing down on me, so I decided to pull back, form up, so I get the first shot off. So I'm reforming my line, also getting my Grenzes formed up, ready to in case the Prussian line up for trick on a flanking manoeuvre, and luckily I suddenly have a mess round of enemy cavalry, meaning I have four cavalry units, he has none. Oh sorry, no, I'm wrong there, he has two going to try on a flanking manoeuvre on my left flank. So I'm getting a bit worried about this flank, as I see there's quite a lot of foot guard and two cavalry units. And he's converging two foot guard units on this one Emperor's own unit. I get an awesome volley off on that unit, getting a third 27 men. And another volley off onto this, and we've only got 21. Now I rush my remaining cavalry, apart for the Hungarian unit and the Crassier unit, into the enemy. I then route a Sliskin Skutsen unit and start to route the other one shortly. Charge it straight into my cavalry unit, straight into the experimental Hermits unit, which also route. So I've basically just demolished his whole skirmish line and artillery. So now he's lost all advantage. As I have more skirmishers, more cavalry, more line infantry, and we're equal on artillery. So he charges his cavalry in, luckily I just see it just in time before that unit gets wiped out. Our men and then are I running, continue sir. with my cavalry charges. I'm now bringing in my Crassier unit to do some damage to his general. And then I charge my Husai, my remaining Husai unit straight into his skirmishes. Now my first Husai unit is now occupied with the 8th Life Regiment and General. It's shortly take them out. Deadly blow onto these skirmishes. Unfortunately he's routed this Emperor's own unit, so I'm bringing up these Grenzers on, that were on my right flank round, and I'm now moving around my line to take out this cavalry. Unfortunately this foot guard unit is taking a heavy toll on this unit. The Czech regiment, but I'm finally turned around. Now I start to move these troops around, which I should have done from the start, but I just forgot about them. Now fortunately I've killed a general, so that gives me another advantage. I am round another skirmish unit, so he's only got one skir 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 whatever you want to call them. I'm just going to call it that. A Lancer unit. Three foot guard units, which are doing a pretty good job, and he's got some another foot guard unit and pressure fusiliers that have come back from routing. Now this pressure fusilier unit starts to retreat, seeing that these guys are bearing down on them. Oh, but this unit running. now gets a deadly volley and makes them rout. So his last skirmish unit is now routing, and he's only got light foot left. And my crossiers have broken that square. And now my Jagers are in hand going on the cavalry. Now the foot guards are charged into my Czech regiment, and earlier on my uh, enemy cavalry charged 
charge into this Hungarian Fusilier unit. So I put them in square, but I put them back in the line to take on this foot guard. Now these two Grenzi units here are now firing on this foot guard unit, which decide to charge in. Now foot guards in melee combat are really good, they just rip the line and start obviously harassing my scavengers. But my friends is finally getting a good volley off and the foot guards start to pull back. Which is a relief for me, because if they kept pushing, they could have taken my whole left flank. Now these three units of Hungarian Fusiliers are just mopping up all the units in the back of the route. Extermination going on here. They're routing. Now the last foot guard unit on this flank is now getting hammered by these two. And this fusilier of line has now gone into skirmish doctoring against this game fusiliers, which is now losing unfortunately. I'll put these guys around in case they decide to rush me. Glorious victory, sir! Giving the so glorious victory yours. from the narrator. Now this foot guard unit is now gone, luckily. So I can now push around with these units and mop them up with melee. Now when an enemy has got an extremely small force and you've got a massive force, it's actually pretty hard to manage your forces. As you're trying to win quickly, but then you're, you're also losing lots of units because you're not concentrating on the battle with the unit between unit. You're concentrating on your maneuvers. Now luckily I don't really use, lose this unit, it just takes some losses. So you can see friendly fire. Guard unit round. So now I'm just charging merely into these remaining units, which just round with the seeing. And that was a great battle, extremely fun on the pyramids. Good game to General Zach. I did like his tactics, so I deployed 2,184, lost 965, killed 1,238. He deployed 1,648, lost 1,303, and killed 844. Good game to him, thank you for watching. Please comment, rate, and subscribe, and wait for my latest battles coming soon. Thank you.